you can see right here what just came down, what we gotta do next. So again, very impressive. So we need to plant grass seed in our front yard. And one of our landscaping friends said, you need to dethatch this before you plant any seeds. Google says it's about $175 for a professional to dethatch your yard, or you can buy this off Amazon for around $140. We're gonna go put that together real quick. We're gonna use it. I'm gonna give you an update to the yard where we've been cleaning off that neglected garden spot. An update on that couple tons of rocks that was on the side of the house, right here. What happened to those? Let's go outside. If you've seen our other videos, you know this was all full of rocks, weeds, and grass. Here is your update. Clear it out. And so we put all those rocks on, along the side of the house with this picture right here. Look at it now. All those rocks are gone. So I put it on a gardening group on Facebook. Within about 15 minutes, I had somebody that asked about them. In about 30 minutes, I had five people that wanted them. They're gone. I thought they were gonna be here forever. Okay, let's look at the uh, thatch. So as you see, this area needs help too. And you just can't throw grass seed down here. Look at that. It's not gonna penetrate that. So we're gonna dethatch the lawn. We got our Greenworks dethatcher. Let's go see how long it takes to put together. Okay, here's what we got. And that was after watching quite a few YouTube reviews that was saying how awesome this is. It was on sale, so I picked it up. We're gonna zip through this section as quick as we can. Here's what it looks like when you open the box, and I believe there's only one page of assembly instructions. I was just checking how many what tools we need. One page, is that right? I'm just gonna take everything out of the box. This is everything that was in the box, the main unit. That handle, which is connected by the wire, another handle, instructions, extra springs, and some parts. I think I need a screwdriver for this. Here's the part you might miss with these things. This slides down behind here. And then you're gonna put a screw in here. Funny thing, they call this a star-shaped screw. Uh, don't we all call these a Phillips screw? I kind of think so. That took 10 minutes or less. We got a leftover part. Just so you know, this goes on the crossbar before you attach it to the unit. They call this the cord retainer. I'll show you. You would attach it here before you screw in the bars, but th this doesn't look important. The only tips they had was to cut your lawn, and we just did that to like two inches or less, and make sure the lawn's not wet. It was gonna rain this week, so I wanted to do this tonight. So if you don't have the cord holder, what you do, you just wanna tie a knot in here anyway. Just do a little knot, plug it in, and there you go, that works. Here we go. I will say that cord gets in the way an awful lot. I'm just not used to, I'm gonna run over, just not used to using all this electric stuff. I use, most of my stuff I use is cordless battery power. You can see right here, what just came down, what we gotta do next. So again, very impressive. <laughs>
so I use a lawnmower to bag all those clippings. I figured I could use a leaf blower, but I still have to bag it, right? So there you go. That worked great. Do you see all that thatch? It was just coming up like sheets of thatch at once. So we gotta go get some grass seed. We're gonna soak it, plant some grass seed, and uh, the grass seed should do a little bit better now that we dethatched the lawn. Now we gotta start watering it. Thank you for watching. Click over here and watch another one of our how-to videos. Between all of our channels, we have thousands of videos on YouTube. Place a comment. We love comments. We like to reply to comments. Like, subscribe. You know the deal. Share. Thank you for watching.